Wow. Dudes and dudettes, what's up? What I have here in my hand right now is my YouTube 60th video special. What is this? Well, I was recently talking to my high school crush, who, uh, as you can imagine, I had a very, 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 very major thing for back in high school. I studied with this person back in 2010, seven years ago, when I first moved to Brazil. It was the first school that I, I applied to. And I had a monster crush on her. I was just madly in love with her, if you can be in love at that age. I don't even, I think I was 16, 17. I was, I was, yeah, I was 17. So basically, I was talking to her again after so many years, you know, recently. And yeah, we were pretty cool. It was a pretty nice conversation. She's a good person. I really still like her a lot. And here's the thing. Um, shortly after talking to her through WhatsApp, I started to clean my room. And I actually found something very interesting. Three different songs and two different poems that I wrote about her back when I had a crush on her. <laughs> now this is going to be different. I I'm gonna I want to talk a little bit about her and what happened between us or what didn't happen rather. And I'm gonna read these songs uh, and these poems to you guys because I think this is gonna be really interesting to do. It's gonna be <laughs> it's, like, it's gonna be kind of embarrassing. I was a I was a real fucking Casablanca back then. Still am, but I was really mushy when I was a teenager. So. This is gonna be good. A little backstory before I before I start. Um, I'm obviously not gonna say what her name is, but here's the thing. She was actually the the first of many crushes that I had during high school and at school. I moved to Brazil, where yeah, some of the most beautiful women around. So my my, my, my class was like I think my class was pretty much 70% girls, you know, 70% female, only 30% male, even more that estimate. And there was not a single girl who was unattractive. No one was ugly. Every single girl was hot as hell. And it was actually crazy because I think I wound up having a crush, at least a small to some degree. I wanted to get with every single girl in the class at one point. But my, my, I think my first real crush, like actually falling hard, being in love, was just this one girl. And I've never told her. She doesn't know to this day. Hey, maybe when she watches this video, she'll find out. Oh my god. I wonder if she watches it, if she'll know that it's her. You think so? Anyway. So we were friends back then. We talked a lot. She was actually one of the one of the first people to speak English with me. You know, uh, in my classroom, we added each other on MSN. We spoke English a lot. We actually became fast friends. But that notice what I just said. That last sentence there that I said is already the problem. We became fast friends. Friend zone. Once you're in the friend zone, there's no getting out. Even seven years later. Well, actually, I wouldn't know. I haven't exactly asked her out yet, have I? <laughs> anyway, I'm getting off topic. So. I fell for her, you know, my 17 year old hormones were just going all over the place because of her, I really wanted to date her, but she had a boyfriend, figures, right? So I never really said anything, didn't really do anything, uh, as time went by I stopped liking her, started liking other girls, I never knew if she broke up with the guy or not, and yeah, as the years went by we didn't see each other until recently, fairly recently, and she has become one of the most beautiful people in the entire world right now. Stop, 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 stop getting off topic, stop, focus, focus, God damn it, focus. And anyway, I'm getting too much idea. That's kind of the backstory behind it. So now I'm gonna get into what the video really is about. Thumbnail shot. Okay, so, uh, I found these while I was cleaning my room and it just really brought me back, took me back. I wrote two poems uh, on one page and Three songs, three different songs about her. I'm gonna read. <laughs> I'm gonna read the poems I wrote about her real quick. This this is awesome. Listen to this crap. Oh my god, love is a funny thing. The way it ensnares anyone, obligating us to wanting someone against our will, and right when we least expect it. Now I'm pretty sure that enlightening myself with the thought of being with you can never suffice. You're far too beautiful for my eyes to almost comprehend, even though I see you every day. Far be it from me to try to describe you with your elegance. From your dazzling eyes to your cascading rich hair and your serene voice which grants me a rhythmic peace when I hear it. If I could ever even be with you, I think I would never be able to ignore my urge to hold you in my arms and kiss you. Huh? Rocking your world all day long. I truly think I could always love you until the day I die by your side. Damn. 
Now, the thing about this poem is that I'm not going to show you, obviously, but here, right around here, um, the first letter at the beginning of every sentence in the line, you see this right here? You see this? Um, each of these lines here, the first letter of each one is her name and her last name, her first and last name, spelled out. And, oh, ah, I gotcha. And it's really clever. I actually, I've written poems like this for many girls over the years. I really love putting things in line. Now, the second poem actually is an actual poem. It actually has rhymes in it. Now, I was only 17 when I wrote this, so bear with me. This isn't the summary of my poetic um, mojo. This is when I was a teenager, for Christ's sake. So give me, cut me some slack, okay? If only I could have you to myself for only a moment, I would give you my heart and say that you can own it. I could show you what it feels like to be happy, and I would do anything as long as you would have me. But I don't think there's anything I could say or do. I'm almost certain I can never be with you. Tragic. Because I don't yet believe that I was born to have perfection like you. Forever I am torn. I still am. <laughs> I'm just joking. Anyway, guys, that was the poem. Um, very awesome poem. I actually, it's been years since I've seen it, since I've read it. Now that I've first time I've, I've read it since a long time ago. I have three songs now that I wrote about her. This is crazy. Three different songs about one girl. One girl. To those of you who don't know, I used to be a musician before becoming a YouTuber <laughs> and a photographer. I used to actually. I was the lead vocalist for five different bands, all rock and metal. And I have so many songs that I wrote over the years for those bands and outside of the bands that I have. I found just a few of them. They were all bunched up together. I'm going to read a few, uh, some parts of a few of them to you guys. This is really crazy. Uh, the first one is called Suddenly. <laughs> this is crazy. Listen to this. It's all so confusing being one with yourself. You always find something that takes away your trust. May not make sense now, but I assure you from a point of view that observe you must. At first I thought that I was wanting someone else, but now there's this powerful gust, a strong gust, that's blowing me towards her. I don't know whether to try or be left in the dust. There may be a chance of me making her mine, but only if I go slow and not make a fuss. <laughs> the chorus, the chorus. And suddenly, it seems to me that I've fallen head over heels all over again. Suddenly, how can it be, there is another girl in my head making me insane. Fuck. And suddenly, I can't see, I'm blinded by every thought that causes me pain. And suddenly, I'm totally changed inside out, outside in, from my head to my veins. Holy shit. I never thought this would happen to me. I met a girl who was exactly like me. So many things in common, all that which can help us connect. Together we can be free. You should always start slow, but not so so that you find yourself on your knees. When two people who know each other are... What? That's it? I never finished this one? Fuck! <laughs> what? I never finished this one. This must have been the first one I wrote. I, read it. I don't know what order these are in, but I, get, I know that this is the first one. I never even finished it. Okay. The second one is called Why. Feels like a whole different time than my first day in line. What's happened to the world? Nobody even dares to break the cold despair. They're all too busy enjoying the show. It's not right at all. I haven't even heard her voice call. If someone gave me a chance, I would. It's just so irritating, but I know she can't save me. I've already fallen with a thud. So many people keep trying to change me, but it can't be. I was destined to be good. Pretty much me talking about my romantic side and my Casablanca-ish nature. Why does this happening take place in my life? Why does it keep happening to me over and over again? Why, oh why, do I keep suffering from the outlooks of these people? Not a single one of them are maturely tame. What the hell was that? Was it going through my head when I was 17? Why, why, why am I always the one that can't be left alone all throughout the day? Okay, emo. Only God himself knows about my mind and where it goes, whether I'm awake or I'm asleep. I can't figure out what this is really all about. Love is a promise that I can never keep. A mere interest turns into self-arrest. The worst part is the denial that's just so deep. I don't even know if I like this girl or her hair I would pull. The conditions I have hardly been able to meet. Not long now before I fall down in a heap. This situation is so damn simple, but everyone keeps making it so hard. Why can't they just leave it the way it is? Why, Lord? Why, 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 why? Why, 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 why? Twice. No, I'm not going to say that twice. <laughs> why can't they just leave it? Why? The way it is. Why? 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 
this situation is so damn simple if they would just leave it the way it is. I, uh, I understand what this song is about. I, I remembered it now. This is because people were starting to figure out that I liked her and they were all trying to like pretty much like create something out of it you know they were trying to force me onto her and force her onto me and try to get us together but like I said she had a boyfriend I have I think that in the context I think that maybe why is actually the first song I wrote about her maybe this next one is I don't know the order anymore but this one is about that people started finding out that I was into her so they were trying to get us together this first one here was about that's the poem this first one here was actually about, I think it was me realizing that I liked her or something like that. And it was just really crazy. The last song is called This Girl, pretty self-explanatory, right? I'm sitting here staring at the wall, thinking out loud to myself, it's too complicated to even comment on the situation just gathering on the shelf. I may or may not like this girl, but it's possible she may like me in this realm. Wow. The realm. <laughs> She's the kind of girl that's just so beautiful and makes you want to change yourself, but you never would because the way you are is how she likes you herself. But I don't need this girl. I just want this girl. I know she can make me happy. I don't need anyone at all, but what I want is this girl who could love me. Did that even rhyme? This girl, oh this girl, I've always been trying to find someone like her in my dreams. I have no chance with this girl, but yet I know she changed something in me. How can this be? She's giving me so many signs, most of which are painfully obvious. It makes no sense. All I want is to be friends, but what about this awkward loneliness? I can't help this attraction. It's as if thinking of her decreases my brain mass. So basically, <laughs> whenever I thought of her, I became stupid. I got more and more stupid. I became less intelligent, apparently. It's all so strange, the entire situation. I don't know how I'm gonna get myself out of this. There's a part of me that doesn't like her and another part that would die for her kiss. What the fuck? <laughs> There's not a single thing about her I don't like. Everything is so flawless. I can't say she's perfect, but she comes so damn close. So damn close. Let her be what I've always thought I needed. Three times. This girl. And then the end of the song. This girl is different than all the other girls. This girl is different to me. Uh, I'm gonna end that here because holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, look. <laughs> to, to the girl who I used to have a crush on, if you watch the video and you know that it's you, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that, that this was embarrassing for me. Might be embarrassing for you too. That's why I'm not gonna say your name. Oh my god. Uh, ignore how I used to be back. It's a good thing I never told you because as you can see I was pfft, I don't even know <laughs> I was so exaggerated some of the things that I said I think this is good for a 60th video special any video special because it's me humiliating myself in a way that I haven't yet Oh my god, it can't, doesn't get any more personal than that guys. Each 10th video I record a personal one talking about something personal It does not get more personal than that Jesus Christ. Oh my god I wonder, I wonder if I, I wonder if I were to give her these songs, these poems today and see her reaction, like what the hell, oh my god. You guys should comment down below, should I give these songs to her, should I give everything here to her, just hand it to her personally, like here you go, and see her reaction and then record a video about it or film her, I don't know. <laughs> Tell me in the comments or anything like that. I'm gonna vote. Yeah, I'm gonna have a vote. <laughs> I'm gonna have a poll to see if you guys want uh want this to happen or not. Okay. Thanks for sticking around, guys, for so long. For 60 videos. It's been a really wild ride here. I already have a lot of things planned for my 70th, 80th, 90th, 100th videos. So many videos coming out. And I really want to thank you guys for subscribing, for liking, for commenting, for sharing, for everything that you're doing. It really helps me out a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh until next week now. Oh my god. This is Igor Chesterfield signing out, and I will see you guys in my next video. What the fuck was that? What?